The other day we talked about Miguel Andujar versus Joey Gallo versus Aaron Hicks, but there's really one more piece of the puzzle. And it's hard to believe, but Estevan Florial has been with the Yankees since 2015. He was once considered a major prospect. He was even selected to the 2017 All-Star Futures game. However, his prestige as a prospect began to fade in 2018 when he missed three months of the season with a broken ham eat bone in his right wrist. But then he was turning heads during the 2019 spring training before he broke another bone in his right wrist, further damaging his prospect status and kind of earning himself the injury-prone label, even though these were kind of fluke injuries. He made his Major League debut in 2020 at age 22, and in 16 games and just 40 plate appearances over the next three seasons, he hasn't done much offensively. He's got a 678 OPS, seven hits in 34 at-bats, with six walks and 12 strikeouts, he has hit one home run. He's got a 206 batting average to go along with a 325 on base percentage. He's honestly been kind of an afterthought as a prospect over the past few years. He's dropped off of the top 10 list, and he comes up to fill in for double headers and such, but he's quietly put together a very impressive campaign at AAA this season, and you're beginning to hear more chatter about him getting called up and getting a shot. In 62 games at AAA, He's got a 308 batting average with a 385 on base percentage. This is after a slow start. He's got a 905 OPS, 10 home runs, and 25 ribbies. He's hit 19 doubles, one triple, and he's stolen 26 bags, proving that his legs are still dangerous. He's been especially hot as of late, hitting 315 in May and 318 in June. His OPS has risen from 713 in April to 856 in May and 918 in June. So far in July, he's hitting 533 with three home runs in just 15 at bats. Offensively, it looks like he's ready. One negative is that he's struck out 80 times so far this season. That's roughly a 209 strikeout pace over 162 games. Keep in mind, this is against AAA pitching. The Yankees are now forced with a conundrum. Estevan Florial is going to be out of options next season. So if they want to put him on the roster and find out what they've got, they've got to do it soon. They're not going to be able to ship him back to AAA next season on a whim. And if they don't put him on their roster, someone else is going to claim him next year just because he's played so well at AAA and is still an athlete. The Yankees have gotten absolutely nothing out of Joey Gallo and slightly more than nothing out of Aaron Hicks as they look to improve their offense and possibly their defense over the final three and a half weeks before the trade deadline they may be running out of time to see what their internal options can give them. But it's not an easy thing to do because you would need to clear a roster spot for Estevan Florial on the 26-man roster. That means you have to either trade Gallo or DFA Gallo at his low point or do the same for Aaron Hicks and convince someone that he's worth taking on at least some of his remaining contract. The Yankees are going to be forced to either play Estevan Florial or trade Estevan Florial or watch Estevan Florial blossom somewhere else. He's proven that he can play at the AAA level. So there's only one stop left for him, the major leagues. The question is, do the Yankees actually believe in one of their long-term prospects who's paid his dues and come back from injuries and climb the system, or do they believe his numbers are kind of a mirage in the summer heat? I think we all know what the answer will be, but I'm interested from the audience perspective, would you play him or would you trade him?